literally just coming from Lagos, Lagos. No, 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 no. Make her help me share this video. Make her help me share this video. I say make her go observe Labour Party rally for Lagos. <laughs> no be small though. <laughs> no be smarting. Labour Party obidati shut down Lagos. They brought down Bala Blue State to town hall meeting. Hey, hey, hey. no be small matter. But APC no grill, now so they unleash their talks then. Ah, they want people to then destroy properties or then destroy cars. They want to just pray for one boy way. Ah, may God spare in life. But before people be go to TBS, now so you go to Alaba International, want to just watch the warm welcome, the reception where they give them. That's nothing like make people just love you naturally. Make people appreciate you. Not be fake love or artificial love or eye service. When they come finish, I see they go almost see this boy. The one way just break my heart. We come. Ah, I say God help us for that country. People just come stand for middle of the road. Say, look at us, we are finished. Ah, oh, he say help us. How one more? Young and general, one more. Oh, more people be just come out from a convo. Assure the boy. If now other political party tell me, they for the back by the boy. They for saying a threat if you want to attack the convo. In short, you know, wait, you know, share this video. My live now for the rest of the moon. I just watch, watch this gentleman. Watch, watch. Thank you. And stay glued to the channel. NHCV is the code. Like and follow us on our Facebook page and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Listen and tell me. Because for too long in this country, we have allowed people to come, tell us one thing, and when they go into office, they do another thing. We can no longer take it. You either do what you tell us, or please, you leave our office. So we can hire somebody else. Daddy and I, all your country has done in the past 20 years is to produce insecurity, to produce poverty, to produce joblessness, to produce as a strife, fuel scarcity, all one form of suffering or the other. Daddy and I are promising you that we will secure and um, unite Nigeria. We will secure and unite Nigeria. We will ensure that when we start, after some years, no Nigeria will say, I'm from the West, East, North, but we'll be proud to say, it's a Nigeria. Nigerians to celebrate your Nigerianness, celebrate your passport. We assure you, we are going to work hard to pull people out of poverty. We are going to work hard to ensure that our youth are employed. And the way to do it is that we will remove this country from consumption to production. People have said. People are saying, how are we going to do it? This Lagos will remain the center of our finance, center of our excellence, center of our transshipment and everything. But we are showing you, Nigeria has all the factor endowment to be a great country. Because we will ensure that there is the rule of law and order. We will produce an enabling environment, the greater environment that will spur investment in our oil and gas. Nobody will steal our oil again. Our gas, our gas should be developed where it will give us more money than oil. And above this, all the cultivated land in the north, which is our greater physical assets, we will invest in. We will ensure that we deal with the issue of agriculture as quickly as possible. As soon as we secure the country, farmers will go back to farm. We will support them to be more productive and we will use the food inflation to drive that inflation in this country. 
we will ensure that the world that we produce will lead to agricultural revolution, which will lead to export, and will earn more money, and our reserve will increase, and our rate of exchange will stabilize. What we are going to do is very easy. Let nobody tell you this country is a great country. When we do what we do, the youth will be employed. The youth will find jobs. Because we no longer allow people to be wealthy without enterprise. Everybody who has money here must be doing something. We will support the youth to start the MSMEs, the companies. Our promise will not be on TV. It will be physical. You will see it. It will be measurable. The enemies are no more formidable. I'm begging you, the youth, support what we are doing. This is the first time in Nigeria that the party chairman, presidential candidate, and vice presidential candidate will be people born after independence. This is the first time if you go, they tell you, you voted for PDP, the broom. You voted for the PDP, the umbrella leaks, I put you into poverty. You voted for the broom, they swept you into poverty. When they came into office, 55 people were, 55 million people were absolute poverty. Today they are 95. So it has worsened. You have voted for umbrella, it didn't work. You voted for broom, it didn't work. We now want you to vote for human beings. You go and vote for go and vote for go and vote for mama, papa. When you vote that, if you check it. APC chairman is 75 years. DDP chairman is 72 years. He was Shagari's minister 40 years ago. Our chairman is 52 years. 20 years different. If you take the age of three of us, the average age is 65. If you take the other one of PDP, it's over 70. The other one, we don't know their age.